the study with Emsolim was, was negative. It did not show superiority of, um, of the combination versus anti-estrogen alone. So the uh, breast cancer community is trying to make sense of this data and try to identify what could be the underlying reasons why one study is positive and the other is negative. And there are multiple possibilities, I think, here to discuss. I think uh, it is clear to say that the two compounds are hitting the same target in a similar fashion. So if you were to ask me, I don't think there's going to be a different difference because of the compound. So then we're left with two obvious possibilities. One is that Eberolimus uh, is working only in patients with refractory disease. That was the difference between the two studies. Or the other possibility is that there was a difference in dose and schedule in the two studies uh, that could explain the lack of activity of tensor alimus. We don't have the data uh, to answer this. Clinical trials ongoing will tell us what's the situation and what's the reality. But my feeling is that probably uh, there was a dose and effect situation with Tamsurolimus because uh, what they have reported so far, and again, this paper has not been published, they've been presented in multiple meetings but not been published yet in a peer review journal, hopefully they'll do that soon. Uh, what um, it has been reported is that they had uh, a much lower uh, rate of mucositis than with Everolimus and that uh, together with the fact that they had to reduce the dose from the phase one study due to very high mucositis at the dose that they started makes me think that this is not a first versus second line issue, but rather I feel inclined to think that this is more uh, dosing and schedule.